A North Carolina-made fishing boat cruised into international headlines this year for turning up on another continent for after almost four years drifting at sea. Heather Burgess has the story of the Queen Bee and the Edenton, North Carolina boat builders, Regulator Marine, who brought the Queen Bee home to tell her story. I still marvel at the fact that it simply stayed on board the boat. Three and a half years. It is a true story with all the elements of a Hollywood screenplay, a raging storm, survival, and a fishing boat that somehow survived three and a half years drifting at sea. As we walk around this boat, you'll see where we believe this boat took impact while it was afloat. And, and if it had not had the structural integrity that it did, we feel like that this boat would have probably sunk. It is the tale of the Queen Bee and her amazing journey across the Atlantic from Nantucket, Massachusetts to the northern shores of Spain. The way the boat was recovered um, is that the Spanish version of the Coast Guard, of our Coast Guard, contacted the U.S. Coast Guard and they traced the boat based on its hull ID number back to Mr. Douglas. The Spanish Coast Guard had found the boat about 25 miles north of Llanos. Um, Spain was a port in northern Spain and they brought the boat into port. Uh, identified the boat and called the uh, United States Coast Guard in Massachusetts and that's how they found out that Scott Douglas was the owner. While fishing off the coast of Nantucket in 2008, a rogue wave swept owner Scott Douglas and his brother-in-law Rick St. Pierre overboard. They swam for two hours to safety, but their boat, the Queen Bee, drifted out to sea. And we had a call from the owner, Scott Douglas, who said, hey, he just found out that his boat was found off of the coast of Spain and that, that he just was interviewed, I think for NBC or like the Today Show, and, and we were just floored. The Queen Bee is a 26-foot fishing boat built by Regulator Marine in Edenton, North Carolina. The company employs around 75 people who have made boat building a matter of pride in this eastern North Carolina town. I think this, this boat says a lot about, not just Regulator, but it says a lot about American built products. Once bright yellow, the Queen Bee washed up in Spain a little battered and barnacled, but remarkably intact. Many believe after the Nantucket storm in 2008, the boat caught the Gulf Stream and ended up drifting 3,500 nautical miles across the Atlantic to a fishing port in northern Spain. What we think is that the boat probably, while it was adrift, was hit by a ship or something offshore, and it was hit here and took off the deck cap, took the uh, top off of the boat as well, and uh, fortunately, the boat stayed together and floated around for three and a half years out here. When Regulators President Joan Maxwell heard the news that the Spanish Coast Guard had located the boat, she wanted to bring it back to North Carolina as a testament to what she calls outstanding craftsmanship. But everything basically stayed intact with the throttles, stayed on board. Whether the steering wheel was on it when it reached Spain, we're not sure, but it wasn't when it came back to us. Look at the electronics. They all stayed on board. There was actually a nickel inside of there. And so when Mr. Douglas was here, when we got the boat back, we actually gave him back his nickel. <laughs> From the design to every detail of their work, the employees of Regulator always strive to ensure their boats are well made. But now they have some amazing proof that the boats are built tough. That, that, that's, that's the part that makes me happy and makes me proud. That I, when, when I go to sleep at night, I don't want to worry about a boat breaking up the next day because, you know, it's with a, a family on it and, you know, who knows what, what else could happen to it. So it's, it's kind of proof of the design concepts that we put in for the everyday use or the normal use. Now back in her birthplace of North Carolina, the Queen Bee reunited with her former owner. The two men hadn't seen the boat since their terrifying day at sea. Every day you, you hear the bad news in, 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 the, in, the, in, the, in the press a lot of times and to hear Hey, here's American-made product, American-made, or here made in North Carolina, and our employees have something to be very, very proud about. With the economy, the sports fishing industry has seen decline over the past few years, but signs are showing a comeback 
and the story of Regulator's Queen Bee continues to inspire and motivate the hearts and hands of this Made in America, Eastern North Carolina company. You know, these are our neighbors, these are our friends, these are people we see in the grocery store. You know, so if they're not working here, you know, there's a sadness that they're not working here. But the good news is that we're, we're adding on people and we're building more boats. Eventually, the queen bee could end up in a museum on Nantucket, but for now, she's touring the country with Regulator Marine. The queen bee will be on display at the Raleigh Boat Show in February.